Hi and welcome to tutorial 5 of Mediator 9. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create timeline based events. Now timeline based events are very similar to setting up animations in PowerPoint. Um, and for this particular purpose of this video um, I'm going to show you how to create timeline based events on a splash page. So this is my sort of enter page for my showcase and it appears first and that's why it's at the top of my menu. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, get different sort of animations to occur on my particular object. So I've got my enter button that I just created in Adobe Fireworks, which is just an image. And I've simply added two rectangles uh, in Mediator and set a particular colour to them. And in order to add your rectangles, you can just go to Insert Rectangle. So what I want to happen is I want these rectangles, one to fly in from the right and the other one to fly in from the left. And then I want my enter button to implode in, to sort of shatter in. Okay, and I want it to occur in a particular order. So I want this rectangle to come in first, followed by this rectangle, followed by my enter button. Okay, so the first thing that you've got to do when you're creating timeline based events is to unshow your particular object. So in order to do that, you simply click on the object that you want to create a timeline on and right click and just untick the show object. So I'm going to do that on each particular object that I've got. And likewise, if you wanted to add a timeline onto an image, you would just unshow that particular image as well. Or title, for example, if it was text. Okay, so I've unshown all of my objects. And I'm now going to go to Page Events. And for the purpose of this, my because all these objects are on the same page, I can create a timeline based event on the particular page. So I'm going to direct click on on page ready. So when this page loads, I want my timeline to occur. So I go up to timeline and drag that down. And here's my timeline for this particular page. At the moment, you can see that the timeline is empty. Okay. And you start with show. So I want my object to show at a particular time so I drag down show and I think that my first rectangle I'm going to get to come in after sort of half a second so as you can see I'm on half a second along the bottom timeline and drag into the top row it then asks me what particular object do I want to show so I'm going to start with my first rectangle which is named just rectangle and I want this rectangle to scroll in so you can see the tabs across the top I'm going to click on scroll and I want this particular rectangle to scroll in from the right. Obviously, there's lots of different options to choose from. And just click OK. I don't actually want this to last for a second. I could have changed the duration previously, but I can simply just drag that out to say how long I want it to last for. I want this to last for about two seconds. So that rectangle should scroll in for two seconds. Then I want my other rectangle to come in to scroll in so I'm going to drag down and I want this to happen once my rectangle's finished so I make sure that I have selected when the first rectangle ends and drag down to the second row and this time I want it to be my bottom rectangle which is rectangle one named conveniently and I want this one to scroll in from the left and I could change those seconds there if I wanted in fact I'll change that one to two seconds Okay, so both my rectangles scroll in for two seconds. The first one on its own, followed by the second one. The last thing that I want is my enter button to implode in. So again, I click on show, and drag down. And I want this to happen when my rectangle has finally come in. So I make sure I click on the end, drag it towards the end, and drag down onto the next row. And this time I want it to be my enter button. And click OK. And I want this one to implode in, and you'll find that in the special tab scroll down i want it to be a large implode so it sort of shatters in click okay i want this to last for two and a half seconds so i can just change that up here in the duration milliseconds and click okay so there we are i've got my three separate occurrence of the different timelines and these events occur over seven seconds obviously i could add different particular animations to occur on more than one ob on one object so I could add 
you know, another scroll or imploding on the rectangle or a swirl, something like that. But I'm just going to simply have one on each, but you would just add them at the end of each particular one if you wanted more. So I click OK and close. OK then, so I'm just going to see if this works. I'm just going to go to Review and Run Page or press F5. So my first rectangle comes in, followed by my second, followed by my Enter button. OK, well that's the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and if you've got any uh, questions or further support you can contact me at amy underscore nightingale at yahoo.co.uk.